Think I, I think I might have a fucking problem Fashion out of rolling marijuana Thinking about getting more to the bank But they won't let me in cause I smell like dang I think I might have a motherfucking problem I think I might have a motherfucking problem YouTube, what it be like? It's your boy Foe and bro, we are back and this is our first NBA 2K video of the year. I'm so happy for this shit because that means I don't have to play 18 ever again, man. Y'all know how it is, man. We've been rocking with uh, 2K since 17, man, playing the game. I've been uploading some things since 17 on this channel as well so now we got all our games as well man so i'm happy for that i got my live too so we definitely gonna be uploading content and y'all know how we rocking with the madden man if you're new to my channel and this is your first time seeing me i appreciate that view but you know you gotta like and sub my boy we put in so much effort to upload quality content and we upload a lot bro and i don't upload just random shit man i generally am always giving you good info on this channel for real a lot of people already know that that sub to me we also have a 4k sub giveaway going on on my channel right now all you need to do is simply subscribe that's how you enter the raffle i'm gonna take one lucky sub they can pick whatever game they want and it's gonna be on me all we gotta do is hit 4k man so help me grow to 4k and you never know your next game could be on me all my day ones y'all know what it is let's get it now i'm not gonna act like i'm reinventing the fucking wheel because i'm not man but there's a lot of people that are going to make pure shot creators because they are very well balanced in this game. But I feel like there's a certain way you need to make the shot creator specifically, especially at the guard to be able to maximize it. Now, don't get me wrong. We all play different, but I feel like this build that I'm going to show right here is the most balanced, all right? Now, of course, you know we got to make it at the shooting guard position so that we can get the uh, shooting badges, all right, on goal. So we get catch and shoot and corner specialists on goal. You see all the Hall of Fame badges you're going to get. Those are going to go crazy. But um, we also get deep range, dead eye, and limitless range on silver, and that's a welcome addition to a shot creator. Bro, I had a pure last year that I just wish had badges on it, shooting badges on it. Man, it would have made that build so overpowered. And I really feel like with the changes that they made on this build this year, this build is truly going to be overpowered. So you can see you get ankle breaker as well on silver. But look, we still get all of our point guard badges. So we get uh, pick and roll maestro and dimer and flashy passer and uh, lob city passer as well. But then we're also going to get that coveted posterizer that we definitely want, right? Because devs already put out uh, tweets about you uh, being able to get body catch bodies, bro. You're going to get contact dunks now if you have the posterizer badge. The thing that separates you from like a, like a slasher, like a true slasher or a driving and finishing player is that they're going to get all of the flashy packages. But y'all already know, man. Somebody going to figure out how to glitch that shit, man. And we going to end up with those same slasher uh, animations on our player. And we'll be able to activate them this year um, as opposed to how it was in 2K18. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, height. Of course, you know you got to make this build. Uh, maximum height has to be 6'3 in order for you to still be able to speed boost. So once you max out your ball control, you'll be able to speed boost with this player. So we got to have him at 6'3. I don't want to. I mean, bro, I had a 6'3 player last year, so I'm familiar with 6'3 players. Um, now we want to talk about the weight, all right? So here's the thing. Now, I put my player specifically at 206. Now, the base weight, before y'all try to get on my head about that, look. So this is 192 is the base, right? And a lot of people always talk about, well, you either want to make them a lower weight or you want to make them base weight, right? Because you don't want to lose no speed, right? Now, first of all, you don't want to make them the lowest weight because you know, how it was last year with blow by animations or just getting bullied by being small. But look at the caps. So this is base weight, all right, at 192. Look at his contact dunk. It's 74. 
Now, if we push the weight up, what goes up, what goes down? Contact dunk is going to go up and then strength and box out. We ain't really worried about those because we playing as a 6'3 point guard. So we're not really worried about that. We just worry about the contact dunk. Now, what goes down? Speed, boot, uh, speed with ball goes down. So you see my speed with ball at base weight is an 81 right now. All right. Now, what else goes down? Vertical goes down. You see my vertical is an 80. Lateral quickness will go down. You see my lateral quickness is an 81, and you see my acceleration is an 85. Those are the things that will go down if we push up our weight, and we don't want to make those go down too far. So we're going to go ahead and put it at 206, all right? Now look what changed. My contact dunk now is an 80 contact dunk. So now I have an 80, 81 driving dunk and an 80 contact dunk. I already can finish with the layups. You see my layups, 89. But now I got an 80 contact dunk as well. And they already told us we're going to be able to activate contact dunks. So now I got an 80 contact dunk. But look at my speed with ball. My speed with ball only went down one point from an 81 to an 80. So that's fine. You know what I mean? He already wasn't going to be crazy fast anyway. So... Now let's look at what else went down. The vertical went down two points from an 80 to a 78. That's fine. If We could always use the vertical to help us rebound, but rebounding is more about positioning anyway, and you can supplement those two different points with IQ anyway, just to be honest. Lateral quickness only went down one point, bro. It went from an 81 to an 80. Your acceleration only went down two points. From an 85 to an 83, and that's perfectly fine with me, bro. I played with a pure sh uh, shot creator. I played with a uh, shot creating sharp. I played with a pure sharp. I played with a lot, a lot of players that was either this speed or slower last year, and I got around the court just fine. I ran my team successfully as a point guard just fine at that speed and look my speed didn't even change so my overall speed stayed at an 88 regardless but now what's dope about this player is you can literally do everything and look at my shooting so now um let's take a look real quick so we'll go to wingspan because let's talk about the shooting on the bill so now i can lay up and finish i can dunk and catch bodies they're all in the 80s or higher but now my shooting what I did with the wingspan, I didn't make it the most minimum wingspan. Shout out to Brother Jones. He put out a video that showed the 6'3 at max wingspan last year. It was a 78. So we just brought it down to 78. So we got the max wingspan from last year. And then we looked at the caps. Now, you could always boost it if you want to boost it. If you don't really need that shooting. But for me... I wanted to do everything I could to get that 99 and 97 uh, in the mid range. Because to be completely honest, uh, when you have it like that, you're going to dominate in that space. And anybody that know how to like, like come off screens or hit a quick dribble move real quick and get open, going to kill people in the mid range. So that's the reason why I went with it. And then also... Uh, by having my wingspan at at least a 78 or shorter, it's going to give me that 80 moving three-point shot that I was looking for instead of having it in the 70s. And you see me got an 83 open uh, three-point shot. So if you boost it like up to a 79, like one more, you see it only really drops like one. So it's not really dropping that bad. So if you wanted to do it like that, or like boost it to like an 80 like that, you can see it start to drop your shooting down. But if you feel comfortable shooting in this space like that, you can do that. But for me, I'm going to just rock like that because that gives me literally almost an 80 of everything except my contested uh, three-point shot, which I ain't tripping, man. I got badges that kind of help me with that, and I really shoot with IQ anyway. So a lot of the threes I pull are going to be like open looks. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I'll be fine with that, man. So really, I feel like this is the best way to balance out this build because it helps with the finishing. It does not hurt this build's speed at all. And by the time you get it maxed out 
with all the badges that this bill has, this will be just an offensive god. And then being able to speed boost a momentum cross and add animations with all that is just going to take this bill just completely over the top. So hopefully y'all like this bill. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Also comment what bills did you make, you know, and what you going with, what you rocking with for 19, man. Um, are you going to make multiple bills? What kind of videos you want to see on the channel for 19? What type of bills you want me to take a look at specific? Let me know in the comments. Like the video, please. Share the video with people. Subscribe as well. And as always, respect the OJs. Peace.